So to end the last segment, I kind of said that I didn't want to say the NFL was rigged yet, but I do want to say that now, just because I, I think it's going ba- basing it off of what I talked about last week, and I got a comment from one of the listeners who said that to look into this more, and there's a guy, Joe John Tucci, Tucci, I don't know how to say his last name, it's really Tui, that's it, Brian Tui, that's his name. And he said to look into that and see if the NFL is rigged and they're trying to basically get some people to watch the games and stuff like that. And I, I want to expand on that a little bit more. And I think that the NFL referees kind of are just the the underlying, not underlying, but like the tip of the iceberg on this, this whole scheme to like basically have NFL rigged and stuff. But I'll start with the... The referees here. As as I watched, I watched one interview with uh, Mr. Tui, and I didn't read the books or what, read anything else he said. I just wanted to get a little bit of a baseline of what he was saying, and what he was talking about was that people were, or he did some investigation with the FBI, and he found that the NFL was trying to set up games and basically have them have an outcome that's favorable to them and for the news media people like ESPN and all them just so they could have bigger stories and stuff like that and I do think that's a kind of a thing but not not quite I think it's more of the NFL is more of just a show and the players are actors in it like I think that if you have a skilled enough person coming out of the NFL or NFL, NCAA in college football, they could do about anything you ask them to. So, so let's say, for example, the Patriots and the Colts are going to play again in the Deflate Gate rematch. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about storylines and stuff here in just a few moments. But they're playing in that rematch. You have a full, healthy Patriots team, and then you have a full, healthy Colts team. Like, just basically their their game that they played this year, just say it was completely healthy. No, everything's on the table for that. Say they wanted to be like, hey, hey Brady, well, we won't suspend you for the year if you, you only win this game by four. Or something along those lines. They tell them to, like, only win by this much or lose it or something like that. And let's say let's say they they say lose or win only by four, and they tell Andrew Luck that they'll be like, hey, you're gonna lose this game, but we want you to go out with an injury so you can keep your team relevant, just in the sto- in the headlines and stuff. And then, and with that, I'm, I'm gonna stick on this Andrew Luck thing real quick. What kind? What great story was it, or how great of a story was it that Matt Hasselback? 40-year-old Matt Hasselback comes into the games for the Colts, plays, gets four straight wins, and then Andrew Luck comes back too early and really hurt still. And then they put Hasselback in there. How great of a storyline is that for the NFL? I, I don't see that really being natural. That could be more set up than anything. Just staying on this conspiracy theory here. And... There's, there could be, I could be wrong, I could be completely wrong about this, but I think that the NFL is just kind of like any other sports league and any other, any other thing, they're looking for their money, they're trying to make that money, and they're doing a good job at it, they mean, they could just be saying, hey, hey refs, we're gonna, we're not gonna say anything bad about you, we're not gonna do anything bad about you, you're gonna, we'll give you extra money just to have bad calls this game. Just completely and utterly bad calls. Just like, just like you didn't see it. You got to make this call at this time. The players, the players know, or the coaches know which play to call. And when you see this play, you got to make this call kind of deal, and you'll get a little bit extra cash on it for you, for it. And it's really, it's really sad if they have to resort to that. But I mean, that's kind of, I, I've seen a lot of people criticizing the NFL referees like the ESPNs and the BS reports and all these other just the sports guys and I even did it I am guilty of it too but the NFL's really never 
came out and said anything about him. They had never been like, oh, hey, yeah, they're doing a bad job. We're going to work on it to fix it. We're going to do this to fix them. We're going to do this. We're going to go train all our refs even more. We're going to do this and this. They have no definitive plan. They have, they've said nothing about him, which makes me believe that they, they are, there's something bigger picture here that we're, we as fans are missing. And it's really, it's really scary to me. I'm thinking about it and I don't really know what it is. I don't know what the NFL is doing, what their ultimate end goal is. I'm kind of interested to see what it is, but we may never know. I think Goodell's evil enough and money hungry enough and as well as all the other owners to basically agree to this agree to the agree to this idea that oh hey let's straight up just throw each game can make all these games I'll do this to get make these storylines really good and all this stuff and just keep the keep the money flowing kind of deal but and I I just talked about storylines earlier earlier and I just said it again but I think that some of the there's like the storylines like Ray Rice punching his girlfriend obviously and then there's like Craig Hardy and then there's other things that just keep people talking about the NFL like I'm talking off season obviously not in the, not not bit not in the season but kind of in the season I'm I'm can I'm focusing primarily on off season stuff here and like do they do this? Like, do they say, with, let's take the Ray Rice thing, for example. I mean, you can see that he did it. I know, I don't think he's that bad of a guy, but did the NFL just be like, hey, hey, we're going to pay you a lot of money to not play football, so just so you stay healthy for a little bit? So you're one of our premier backs in the league, but all we need you to do is, is punch your wife, and they tell, her wife, they tell the wife this, and they, they basically have it all set up. And and they're like, oh hey, we're gonna say all this stuff. We have a plan. Just just trust us. You're not gonna get in any real trouble here. And just and that just kept like that thing lasted for like a month, month and a half. That lasted a long while. And um, I I don't I really don't want to say that the NFL said like told them to do this because I, I I don't know what to say about that. I, I just would. That'd be the craziest thing of all time if they told their own guys to beat women and stuff. But nonetheless, like it could be about anything. Like let's just let's change the topic to Deflate Gate on this. Let's say they wanted to not really hurt Tom Brady, but they wanted to keep the news lines. They wanted to keep they wanted to keep the headlines for the next what is it like three, four months until the season starts basically from February until. October, or in October, uh, they start in August. So uh, from February to August, they could they wanted to keep their the NFL in the NFL in the storylines, and they had no real way of, way of doing it. So they started off with this Deflate Gate, and they occasionally dropped pieces of evidence or news, like they started out with the report, and then or no, they started out with like the Colts saying, "Hey, this happened," and then the people I talked about people talked about the things. And that that never really nothing else came out till after the Super Bowl and then things like that and it, I think it's more of, I think that's more of a like setup for us not really a sting operation against the Patriots but against the fans they're trying to make it so we don't see that the NFL actually set this up just to keep storylines for how it's still going on actually they just kept dropping more evidence and evidence and evidence after one after another that kind of made us keep talking about Deflategate in the NFL, and then that turned into, in about June, that kind of turned into people talking about, oh, what's Patriots going to do? They come back on a vengeance, and what's their, I guess, how mad are they going to be off this and that kind of deal? And that just made us keep talking about the NFL more. And I think that's, I mean, that's not as big of a deal. I'm going to stay away from the Ray Rice thing. I, I might publish in my piece from last September, or September of two years ago now, 2014, about where Ray Rice is an opinion piece, and it, I, I just think that they're kind of building the hype for their season and behind the star players, and that's kind of evidenced by that Deflategate and Tom Brady. They're keeping Tom Brady's name in the 
headlines are keeping the NFL in the headlines and all that stuff, and it's it's really sad if that's what they have to do to get their money and keep their money, but that's all that's this really sports and media in this world are really coming to. So who's got more money than another, and it's getting really, really pathetic.